Yo, I just got the Bitmain Antminer K7N, specifically the 58 terahash a second version. Just got it plugged in right here. I'm gonna step out because it's a little loud in here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna break down how this thing has been running. Um, I just got it in, uh, but I'm gonna provide you several days of data, real world mining profitability, and how to be honest, the amount of coins with these mined per day have gone down pretty drastically recently, largely because Bitmain has made so many of these miners. But I personally think there's still a big upside for the CKB cryptocurrency coin. So I'm actually thrilled to be expanding my CKB mining hash rate. For whatever it's worth, my name is Vosk, on the Vosk on YouTube channel, and uh, I'm on crypto. For better and worse. Bitmain is back at it again. The same miner, but a different model. It's called the 58T, Terahash a second version. It's a K7, one of the most profitable mining rigs you can buy right now. Earning passive income, mining cryptocurrency is very real, it's very viable, and using the latest generation ASIC mining hardware, which these are custom computers, right? purpose built for mining a specific mining algorithm are gonna be the way to do it. Mining isn't for everyone, but it's for me. I love mining, it's what got me into cryptocurrency. I'm a full-time crypto miner, and uh, you know, we make a couple videos, I don't know, maybe over a thousand here on the channel over the last, God, I've been doing this, just crypto related for over half a decade, that's nuts. Let's dig into it, right? So we've got Nervos Network, CKB, I'm just going to recap the gist of this. A lot of you guys know this if you subscribe, but if you don't, you know, here's the gist. If you want to skip the, here's the gist section. Remember, we always have timestamps on every single video. So the important note we're taking here is that there's been $52,000 of new coins emitted, mined, basically minted in the last 24 hours. Okay. Uh, that's that mining profitability piece of the pie that we are going after. And I'm mining over here on uh, DX pool and I'll have a link out down below. You can support the channel if you want by using it. So 58 terahash a second, 58.3 terahash a second is uh, what it's reporting there, right? And I also have the original K7 miner, which is supposed to be 63 and a half terahash a second on F2 pool. That's reporting 64 and a half terahash a second over the last 24 hours. So let's um let's kind of open these up real quick. So I'm remoting into the miner. Remember when you log into an ant miner, you need to grab the IP address, just log into your router, use an IP scanner, uh, default password and username are always uh, root root, easy peasy. It's not actually part of the equation, I'm just saying it's easy. Uh, so you can see my original K7 has uptime here of uh, 15 days and uh, per the miner it averages 64 and a half uh, hash rate uh 64 and a half uh, terahash second and uh, we go over to my new k7 is a 58 and a half terahash second model per the miner it's averaging almost 59 and a half uh it's got more than two complete days of mining you know it makes me wonder am i earning less on dx pool they're not the exact same miner so i can't directly compare uh, but I am a little bit disappointed registering a hash rate under what I'm supposed to be doing and reported. And, you know, you, you can't take necessarily what these minor dashboards have at, at face value. At the end of the day, whatever you do on the pool is whatever you get paid for. Uh, but naturally, like everyone else, is I'm trying to maximize my mining profitability. This isn't a cheap miner. The latest generation of Bit, uh, Bitmain Ant Miners, um, they're powerful. They are profitable but they're not all that cheap. Uh, the K7 has been much cheaper from the manufacturer than resellers, but that's why they're selling out like that. Make an account, do your KYC, subscribe for notifications, and try to secure them uh, that way if you'd like to do so. Uh, unfortunately, 
I missed this one, uh, but fortunately I was able to source one through Coin Mining Central. It is not as cheap as sourcing it uh, directly through Bitmain. But if you sit around and wait around for that, you actually may never get into the mining game. It is very difficult, right? Uh, and shameless plug, save some cash, use the code VOSCOIN uh, when you go and order one. Also check out this little segment we did. When you look up where to buy an ASIC mining rig, you'll be overwhelmed with results. And the worst part is, a lot of those results are untrustworthy, scammy, or they will lie and manipulate these estimated arrival dates. That's why we work with Coin Mining Central to source our mining rigs. They've been helping us source ASIC miners for years, and we've got a link out down in the video description below. But above all, do not forget the coupon code, BOSSCOIN, to save some money. At Bitmain's price, it's really interesting. At a reseller's price, it's still an interesting endeavor. And let me explain why I think that. Mining with the 58 terahash second version on DX pool, I earned 3,900. You know, we'll just take that number, uh, CKB or CK bytes. Uh, yesterday, uh, 3,900 equates to $17 right now. Uh, CKB has a market cap of only 146 million. That's like nothing in crypto land, okay? It's ranked 230 out of all cryptocurrencies by market cap. It's down a whopping 89, really 90% from its all-time high. Hit its all-time low just three months ago. It's up 122% from there. Uh, it's got good trading volume, over $10 million. And uh, personally, I'm just bullish on CKB. And uh, th this is a little bit of speculation, but basically when Bitmain gets serious about making miners uh, for these coins, they oftentimes see some pretty good price appreciation or at least, you know, some good pump take profit opportunities. But to be honest, I think Nervos is cool. And we had an interview with them a couple years ago. They were talking about how they committed to proof of work and mining. And honestly, it makes me want to support them and I can support them through mining and hodling coins and using the... Um, it's basically staking. It's like a you you basically put the coins in the wallet and you earn interest on them. But anyway, it's like a, they have an EVM layer, Ethereum virtual machine, scalability, DApp, smart contracts, side chains, all that crazy stuff, right? All that crazy stuff. This thing is supposed to be mining 4,132 CKBs a day per DX pool, which means it's supposed to make $18.20 a day costing you nine cents a day in electricity, leaving you with $9.33 if you have a 63 and a half terahash a second version. It consumes 3,100 watts. It's a power hungry miner. It's not a small miner. It's not a lightweight miner. It's not a quiet miner. You need the proper electricity voltage, 220 to 240 voltage in order to operate this device. Make sure to watch our electricity guide if you don't understand what that means and that scares you. Looking at my revenue on F2 pool for the bigger boy, I'm getting better revenue here on F2 pool. So with this data, I really recommend you try out both pools, but right now it seems to be that I'm getting better CKB mining profitability um, on F2 pool, but I don't have a direct miner comparison here, right? There is a hash rate disparity in the equation. So let's crunch the numbers. Let's say you buy this thing and you forget to use the Voscoin coupon code, you noob, for $7,100. It's going to cost you $9 a day in electricity to operate. You will then be pooling $8 a day in just mining profitability at a USD point of view. So we'll run this in USD and then we'll also run this at CKB. So that equates to $2,920 a year or $5,840 over the next two years. This is typical for minor prices. Basically in about two years, you're pretty much projected to break even after your electricity rate is accounted for, right? So um, again, keep in mind. So if we put these numbers back together, over the next year, we'd be projected to mine about $6,200. It's not unrealistic at all over the next year that CKB 2X, sure, it could go down, but we're a lot closer to all-time low than we are to all-time high. Uh, and prices have been suppressed. Basically, I'm not, I'm not trying to show anything, but I'm, I'm long-term bullish. I'm long-term confident on a lot of this stuff, a lot of these cryptocurrencies. Anything half-decent has a new all-time high in its future, in my opinion, and I consider CKB certainly half-decent. So if nothing else changed, then we would basically be mining 12 grand over the next year. That more than accounts for our 
electricity bill that accounts for our minor price. And at that point, you have a minor that has appreciated in value. It's been paid off. You know, you just kind of set, right? You can make it sound simple. You can make it sound like it's hopium or whatever. But at the end of the day, mining is a long term play. If you're looking for more short term stuff, just buy the coin, right? I mine because, you know, you have electricity, you can leverage that, you can build out electricity, you know, generating initiatives like solar panels, you operate as a business, you can expense miners, you can expense electricity, consult a professional, of course, um, not financial advice. But the point here, seriously, though, is that I believe in this. I'm stacking these coins. I'm actually paying all the electricity bills out of pocket. I'm holding all the coins. So my upside and downside is actually much greater than you know the conservative uh, projection. If you're a conservative guy, it's your first time, whatever, right? You're making over 17 bucks a day. Cash out the coins daily, weekly, monthly, whatever you wanna do, pay the electricity bill, cash out, put that money towards paying off the miner, and just focus on getting back to break even. It's, you know, a much more conservative uh, way to operate. It's better for your mental health. It's, uh, it's just a better way to go unless, you know, you really want to crank it up to 11. If you really mine and hold the coins, it's almost like trading with leverage. It's exciting and you have a bigger upside or you can get completely blown up. Bitcoin mining is really cool, but to be honest, it's loud the devices are expensive and there are some pretty interesting alternatives like i'm earning 60 dollars a month in passive income after my electricity bill using this hard drive miner it's small barely any heat or noise and it's profitable check it out with the link down below and save some money by using our coupon code bosscoin and you know, if a coin mega dumps, you may have cryptocurrencies worth a certain value and you can't, you know, pay for, say, the electricity bill or if you bought the miner on credit or anything like that, which, you know, the rule of thumb is you shouldn't, but I've done it plenty of times, so I can't throw stones uh, in a glass house. The the 58 and a half terahash second version, you know, bring it back to the miner, uh, it's fine. It's annoying that there's a better version and now if you order, you're getting a less powerful version. It's annoying for profitability calculators, annoying for farm management, whatever else. Obviously, I don't know the inner workings of Bitmain Manufacturing Miner Company, uh, but it would be nice if they were all just the same. They're not though, so the situation is a situation. Um, sometimes we've seen miners that are different hash rates be absolute junk or much better, have some different options in, in them and, and so forth, but uh, things have been pretty kind of even keel these days um, on the minor release front. So I think this thing's worth grabbing, but I'm real bullish on CKB long term. And I think it's super cool. They're committed to proof of work just like me. Um, you do whatever you want to do, uh, but it's time to let the none other than the C-P-O-W-O out the chief proof of work officer, Tails Voss. We do 10 seconds of Tails on every video here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Seriously, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Uh, remember, market conditions still kind of suck. It's the time to be building, buying, expanding, and the good times are yet to come again. I'll be there. I'll be set up for it. I hope you will be as well. Make sure to join the Voscoin Discord server and the Voscoin Talk forum. Connect with like-minded individuals. And let's make some plays.